Marseille, France is a very common cruise stop on the Mediterranean cruises on many cruise lines. The one thing they don't tell you is all the great spots you could go to when you're walking around or moving around the city. We're going to show you our favorite spots and how to get to them. This is your travel gurus, Cruise Essentials, Marseille, France. One of the important things you need to know is where the cruise shuttle drops off and where the hop on hop off bus is. Today we're going to go to Notre Dame de la Garde. We're going to walk down to the Cathedral La Major. First we're going to go over some of the do's and do nots about finding a ride. This is the best spot to pick up a cab. If you're picking up a cab, make sure you hail one within these yellow lines where the cabs and buses can pull in and stop. Otherwise it's going to be really difficult to get one. Do not call one with the red light on top. That means it has somebody on board already. You need to take a good look around and find one with the green light. Those are the ones you want to hail. They're ready to pick up. If you don't want to do a cab, the hop on hop off bus is a good alternative. The hop on hop off has two lines. It has a red line and a blue line. You can buy a single day ticket to the red line for about $18 and to the blue line for about 20. Now, if you want a combination ticket, they run about 25 US dollars. Notre Dame de la Garde is known to locals as La Bonne Mer. Built starting in 1864, it has guarded the city with its faithful blessings even through World War II attacks. Sitting at the highest point of the city, it was well used for defensive purposes and for lighting a beacon for sailors coming in, therefore being called Our Lady of the Guard. It guarded the city. One thing to keep in mind about this beautiful church is that it's the highest point in Marseille. So when you're coming here, you're going to want to take transport, a bus, or a taxi up. But you can walk down. 
The walk down is fairly easy. You'll see the stairs leaving. Take it all the way down to this cute little park down here. We'll show you in a second. But these stairs are gonna be easy to do. One last look back, the Madonna. And we're on our way. Down the stairs, cross the road, down some more stairs, and down a street. And when you get to the bottom, you're gonna find this nice little landmark, the Jardin de la Carline Hugo. Take a stop, check out the statues, get a couple of good shots of them. These are really neat. From here, getting back down to the marina area is pretty easy. We're probably gonna stop for something for breakfast, but just head up the street a little bit and take a left. And you go right to the marina when you get there. You'll know you're going the right way because you'll see this cool little fountain along the way. That will just tell you you're going in the right direction. The French are known to love their dogs and seeing this guy at work, well, enough said. Street cafes are a way of life in France. Stopping for petit déjeuner is a great way to start your morning. For about seven euros, you generally get coffee, juice, a fresh baguette with butter and jam, and some water. We are Americans and we eat very quickly, but it is not uncommon to see the French make this meal last over an hour. After walking down the hill, we're gonna find our way to the other side of the marina and check out a couple of the hot spots over there. If you want to stop and do any shopping, one of the best streets to go down is right up here at the top of the marina. So after we get to the other side of the marina, we're gonna go up the steps next to the hotel with all the flags on it. Once you get to the top of the steps, you're gonna see this beautiful building. We're gonna keep going to the left and we're gonna come to this one right here, which is actually a running church that people go to for mass quite often every Sunday. Now it's time to start moving on. We're gonna leave this beautiful place, take a right. We're gonna go down to where there's another smaller church and you're gonna see this walkway and this little bit of a bell tower. And we're gonna take a turn here and go up these steps. We're gonna walk down the road and at the end of the road, we're gonna end up at the Cathedral Le Major. Cathedral de la Major, or the Marseille Cathedral, was originally built in the 12th century, but the new church hosted its first mass in 1893. The cathedral became a monument in 1906 and is the current seat of the Archdiocese of Marseille after its promotion in 1948 from diocese.
I wonder what Jamie's pondering. Hmm. You know what? It's time for lunch. Let's go. Heading back over to the Port Marina area. Especially around lunchtime, you're going to find a lot of places to eat. Take your time, look around, check some menus, find what you're looking for, and just ask for a table. Most everyone here understands what you're asking for when they speak English. Make sure you get the mussels and white wine sauce. Ugh. Remember, in France, it is not typical to tip. After eating, there's quite a few options to finish off your day. You either go to the museum, and from the museum, you can cross the bridge and go to Fort St. Jean. From Fort St. Jean, you can look around a little bit, and from there, you can take the bridge that takes you over to St. Lawrence Church. One of the interesting things about this particular spot is just below the bridge and over to the left a little bit is where you will be picking up the shuttle to go back to the cruise ship. One interesting hint that doesn't come to people's minds when they come to Marseille is that it's one of the first or second stops when you're doing a Mediterranean cruise. Sometimes your luggage is lost along the way and you need to do some shopping. The two best places that we recommend for this are where the locals go. One is the city center mall, or if you want to be a little closer to where the shuttle drops off, the Les Terraces du Port, which is the mall by the port, is your next best option. This is Jamie. And I'm Bobby. Thank you for joining us in Marseille, France. Be sure to click the subscribe button here in the middle and check out our other videos. Thanks for joining us. Bye.